Today we're going to talk about insects. Hi, I'm Meg Miller for FiddleLeafFigPlant.com and welcome to the most interesting and possibly the most disturbing educational video on our website. We are going to talk about the common insects that threaten to bother, hinder, and even destroy your prized fiddle leaf fig tree. Here we will learn how to identify early signs of in insect infestation as well as treatment options and prevention steps you can take to effectively manage and repel pesky visitors. We'll start with the bad guys first. Those menacing characters that you must deal with to save your plant. Then we'll quickly cover a few benign bugs that you might see um, and that might be attracted to plants without really threatening to take up permanent residence. Spider mites are among the top, if not the number one antagonist of our favorite indoor tree. The trouble with most online educational resources that teach about spider mites is that they tend to show widespread infestations. Fiddle leaf fig caregivers like us though, we need to know what an early stage problem looks like. That way we can act quickly and decisively to treat the problem before it really spreads. Here you can see a small web-like silk that would have gone unnoticed by a novice indoor gardener. But we are well informed fiddle leaf fig owners, so thankfully we recognize this as incipient evidence of spider mites. That web is the number one indication of the presence of spider mites. Number two is the appearance of small clustered dots on the leaves of your plant. When disturbed, these little dots might even move, and that confirms it. You've got spider mites. But the good news is that spider mites are the easiest insect to dislodge from your plant. You usually don't even need to touch the buggers. Simply fill a kitchen syringe with water and spray the little dark dots until you don't see anymore. I prefer to do this outside, but during winter, the bathtub or kitchen sink is also a great place to treat for spider mites. Now spider mites are one of the most common threats to the beautiful ficus lyretta, so stay vigilant. The next most common fiddle leaf fig pest is the mealybug. Before discussing how to find, treat, or prevent these guys, you should know how they operate. Mealybugs almost always find their way into your home by hitchhiking on other plants. Once on your fiddle leaf fig, these soft bodied bugs suck the sap out of the leaves, causing them eventually to drop. They secrete a wet looking substance called honeydew and the female mealybugs produce a cottony material to lay their eggs. Now these last two nuggets of information are not just interesting, they are helpful in identifying the pest. If no white bugs are visible, simply keep an eye out for a cottony substance like this or a wet looking residue as you can see here. Treatment can be similar to spider mites, but be prepared for a mealybug recurrence if all you use is water. While you may find mealybugs to be dislodged just as easily as spider mites, these guys are a lot more difficult to find in the first place. Their babies, called crawlers, are so tiny you cannot see them with the naked eye. Plus, many mealybug infestations start in the roots of the plant where they are invisible even to the most observant fiddle leaf fig caregiver. And finally, when they do move around, they're usually hanging out on the undersides of leaves or in the nooks and crannies where the leaves emerge from the trunk and branches. So, when you're ready to step up your treatment plan and apply something more potent than a jet of water, grab some rubbing alcohol and a couple Q-tips. Dab each little me mealybug and cotton nest with a drop of rubbing alcohol to neutralize the bugs that you can see. For the villains you can't see, there are a few additional options. First, you can apply neem oil. Follow the manufacturer's instruction for dilution and application. Another inexpensive way to address the mealybug problem is to introduce natural predators into your space. I ordered live ladybugs online to be delivered to my house and I released them in our sunroom to eat the mealybugs and their babies. Thankfully I don't mind that they wander around and they do a great job controlling those mealybugs. You know gnats are another common nuisance associated with vertical or indoor gardens. 
The counterintuitive good news, though, is that fiddly fig favors conditions that are not conducive to fungus gnats. So if you do have white flies, your plant is likely in a darker place with too much water anyway. It's likely suffering from those conditions even more than the pest. Good stewardship of a ficus lyrata means keeping it in a bright place, something white flies hate, and using well-draining, regularly aerated, loosely packed soil. These measures alone should prevent gnat populations. But what if you're already dealing with gnats? These bugs lay their eggs in the top two inches of soil, so if that soil is kept moist, the babies will thrive. That means that the first step to nixing these insects is just to let your plant dry out. Next, create a homemade gnat trap by putting a few drops of honey or apple cider vinegar in a shallow dish and covering it with plastic wrap. Poke a few holes in the top of the wrapping to allow those bugs to crawl in and forget how to escape. Then set your trap right in the planter pot and your gnat problem will be gone within a few days or weeks. So let's talk about a few crawlies you might see that do not need to be exterminated or relocated. One friendly insect I've found in my plants is the pill bug. We used to call these roly polies when I was a kid. They can actually be beneficial to your fiddle leaf fig, eating dead material and excreting a mild fertilizer with trace minerals. These buggers love dark, moist places, so if you spot a couple in or under your planter pots, be kind to them. There's no need to try to evict them unless they proliferate to the point of consuming live material. In June of this year, I noticed what looked like a wet drop of blood on a leaf of one of my ficus lyrata plants. The next morning, there was another one. What was going on? I asked my family members if they had seen anything out of the ordinary in our sunroom. Sure enough, my kids admitted to bringing a butterfly in and letting it loose to enjoy the fiddle leaf fig trees. Turns out, butterflies expel meconium, a waste product that's left over from metamorphosis. Butterflies are a common outdoor fiddle leaf fig visitor that occasionally hitchhikes its way into your home. If that happens to you, just enjoy them. You know, they say an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And when it comes to bugs that would love to snack on your fiddle leaf fig's roots, branches, and leaves, prevention really is the best medicine. Here are a couple quick but effective ways to prevent these problems in the first place. Inspect, then quarantine, and then inspect again all new houseplants. By far, the number one cause of insect problems is the introduction of new adopted houseplants. So simply inspect them before bringing them into the house. Then. Keep them in a separate part of the house for three weeks before bringing them in to join your fiddle leaf fig. That three week window gives mealybugs, fungus gnats, and spider mites a chance to expose themselves by producing a couple generations of offspring which are usually the most conspicuous time for their life cycle. So once you've seen those things you can address them before bringing them in to be neighbors with your fiddle leaf fig. Examine your fiddle leaf fig after it's time outdoors. Here at fiddleleaffigplant.com, we encourage you to take your fiddle leaf fig outdoors for a measured summer vacation. Additionally, throughout the year, you may pull your tree outside for a bath. When you do, ensure you're not bringing any hitchhikers inside. Simply look over every inch of your plant before bringing it back indoors. So, there you have it the most common pest problems fiddle leaf fig owners encounter. For more tips on growing a healthy ficus lyrata plant, grab a copy of The Fiddle Leaf Fig Expert, the new book by Claire Aiken. And as always, thanks for watching.